Queen Zakia Shabazz, and I'm the founder of United Parents Against Lead. Um, and UPAL is an organization that advocates on behalf of lead poisoned children, and we advocate so that they have access to things like um, uh, safe, affordable housing, um, equitable medical care, health care, as well as um, access to quality education. And we are the organization that will be implementing the Get Outdoors project. Um, we are actually creating a garden labyrinth. A labyrinth is a big circular structure that you will find out in an open field that's used for for meditative walking. It has several circular paths that weave in and out and you know cross each other. And you go, the, there's one way in and one way out of the labyrinth. So when you walk in and you weave through these circles, you finally find yourself in the center of the labyrinth. And there you pause to, to meditate, to pray, to cry, sing, dance, shout, whatever, whatever your spirit is telling you to do. And then you take those same, that same path back out of the labyrinth. I felt that during this time that we're living in, the days we're living in with so much stress and you know, mental anguish and people not knowing where to turn, you know, with the pandemic, you know, loss of the, the overwhelming loss of life and, you know, the, just the illness that's um, permeating, that this would be a good idea to have a labyrinth to walk. Um, there is another one in the city that um, a bunch of us used to frequent, you know, pre-pandemic days we would go to. Um, but I got the idea, um, why do we have to travel so far? <laughs> you know, since everybody's talking about, um, you know, equity and having access to outdoor space, why shouldn't we have one right in our community that people can utilize? South side of Richmond is a distressed community, a community that has been divested, but it is, it is still like a community and where the people care about the community, you know, there are lots of families, um, it is a predominantly black community and um, we've been in the community for over 20 years and so it's, it's open to everyone. The labyrinth is going to complement the Broad Rock Sports Complex. So whereas you'll have the, the hustle and bustle and the loud noise of the sports complex, you'll be able to take a, a few steps over to the Garden Labyrinth for, you know, to kind of slow down and quiet, quiet, quiet the pace. And we're also across the street from the Broad Rock Public Library, so lots of um, lots of foot traffic when things open back up. I was really um, inspired to do it because of my work with lead poisoned children and with um, children, autistic children, uh, you know, special needs children overall, to have a place um, that's that's just for them. You know, they can come at certain times and and learn about the, you know, getting outdoors, you know, the great outdoors and, um, you know, being out in nature, um, but having a safe place to, you know, to just be and to, and to contemplate and enjoy the, you know, the sounds of nature and the, the, the smells of nature, you know. For the children that, that I spoke of, we're going to have um, fountains. We actually will have planned to have the children help us to make a tranquility fountain. So we'll have several fountains around. We'll have um, different little stations where on, on the outside, you know, the border of the of the um, labyrinth where children will be able to to plant, you know, we'll have a children's garden. So they'll see different various flowers and colorful fruits and vegetables planted there. They'll have the um, different stations where there'll be aromatherapy. There'll be again the, 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 the tranquility of the gardens and the waters actually actually having waters flowing through the um, through the fountains. I am just thrilled and excited. Um, we, we're thankful for the opportunity to um you know to build our community out this way you know although you know this community has been has been divested this project such as these um kind of re you know renew re renew the interest reawaken reawaken the um just that, that whole idea of what can be done you know to 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 energize people to get out and see what what more we can do